This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. All right, lots of excitement here at TV44 as we are entering the semifinal matches now. We have four teams ready to play. You're going to see Delphus Jefferson take on Patrick Henry, and a little bit later, Ada will face off against Pandora Gilboa. We're so happy that you can join us, and we're going to introduce you now to our players joining us from Delphus Jefferson. We have Aaron Stant, Lexi Carpenter, Sarah Zoller, and Megan Rehm. Delphus Jefferson is coached by Joshua Vasquez and Marissa Schimmler. Welcome back to all of you. All right, moving over now to Patrick Henry. We have Andrew Neese, Nathan Bosselman, Nicholas Bosselman, and Neil Jakeway. Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricke. Welcome back, gentlemen. All right, by now you know the drill. We have 10 questions in this first round, 10 points apiece. Really important that you speak up as loudly as possible with your answers. Make them as complete as possible. We do have our judge back, Mark Dickman. We are so happy to have him with us again this year. Hopefully we will not have to put him to work. So here we go now with question number one in our first round. Which Nobel Prize winning scientist discovered radium? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Marie Curie. That is the correct answer. Question number two, what Midwest city opened the first aquarium in 1893? Patrick Henry. Chicago. Chicago is the answer. Name the prince that kisses Disney's sleeping beauty to awaken her. Yes, Delphus. Prince Philip. Prince Philip is correct. Question number four, how many black keys are on a grand piano? Yes, Patrick Henry. 14. 14 is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, you have a chance with this one. Yes. 23. 23 is also incorrect. 36 is the answer. All right, moving on. Question number five now. In what U.S. state will you find Mount Rushmore? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. South Dakota. South Dakota is the answer. What is the largest organ of the human body. Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Your dermis, your skin. The skin is correct. Who led the first expedition to sail around the world? Patrick Henry. Magellan. We will accept that. All right, question number eight. Identify the chemical symbol for copper. Yes, Delphus Jefferson. CU. CU is correct. All right, two questions remaining in round one. The Hope Diamond is housed at what institution? Yes, Patrick Henry. Royal Academy of Sciences. That is incorrect, Delphus Jefferson. You've got a chance here. All right, the answer is the Smithsonian Institute. All right, final question, round one of our semifinal game. Where was anti-slavery campaigner John Brown hanged? Patrick Henry. Kansas. Kansas is not the answer, so Delphus Jefferson, you've got a chance. Yes. Alabama. Alabama, also incorrect. Harper's Ferry is what we're looking for there. All right, we've come to the end of round one in our game between Patrick Henry and Delphus Jefferson. The score, Patrick Henry with 40 points, Delphus Jefferson with 30. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. <laughs> Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. We're right in the middle of our first semifinal game now between Patrick Henry and Delphus Jefferson. Right now, the score, Delphus with 30 points, 
Patrick Henry with 40. That means you're going to lead this second round. You will have your first five questions worth five points apiece. They're all yours, but please ring in with your answer. All right, question number one. What Catholic humanitarian was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979? Yes. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa is correct. In what year did Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon? Yes. 1969. You are correct, 1969. All right, moving on now to question number three. What type of creature is Gandalf in Tolkien's The Hobbit? Yes. A wizard. A wizard is correct. All right, two questions remaining in your second round. What is it if you bowl three strikes in a row in 10 pin bowling? Yes. A turkey. Turkey is correct. All right, Patrick Henry, you have one more question in your second round. Name the mammal that is second only to humans in intelligence. Yes. A dolphin. Dolphin is incorrect. It's actually a chimpanzee. All right, moving over to Delphus Jefferson now. Please ring in with your answers, okay? What is the youngest age that you can become president of the United States? Yes. 35. 35 is correct. An animal that lives part of its life in water and part of its life on land is known as what? Delphus Jefferson? Amphibian. Amphibian is correct. What are you frightened of if you are astrophobic? Yes. Space. Space is incorrect. The answer is lightning. All right. Which element previously used in the production of felt led to the expression mad as a hatter? Yes, Delphus. Mercury. Mercury. Yes, is the correct answer. Excuse me. All right, your final question in round two. How many U.S. states are needed to ratify an amendment for it to become part of the U.S. Constitution? Yes. Two-thirds. Two-thirds is incorrect. The answer is 38 out of 50 is the answer we're looking for there. All right, moving on now. We have a score. Patrick Henry with 60 points, Delphus Jefferson with 45. Still, still a close match here. So we have 10 questions again. We're 10 points apiece. Up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. Semi-final round here. What is the only U.S. state that grows and produces coffee? Yes, Patrick Henry. Florida. Florida is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson? Yes. California? That is also incorrect. Hawaii is the answer. All right, question number two. What distance is the hoop from the three-point line in high school? Yes, Patrick Henry. 18 feet. That is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, do you want me to complete the question? Yes, please. What distance is the hoop from the three-point line in high school and college basketball? Yes. 16 feet. That is also incorrect. It's 19 feet, 9 inches. All right, question three. What was the first capital city of the United States? Patrick Henry. New York. New York is incorrect. Delphus, do you want to try it? Yes. Jamestown. That is also incorrect. Philadelphia is the answer. All right, question number four. The Earth has how many different international time zones? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. 12. 12 is incorrect. Patrick Henry? 24. 24 is the answer. Question number five. How many chambers are in a dog's heart? Patrick Henry? Three. 
three is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson. Yes. Four. Four is the answer. All right, question number six in our final round between these two teams. What does a dactyl dactylographer, let me say that again, what is a dactylographer study? Yes, Delphus? Birds. Birds is incorrect. Patrick Henry? Yes. Your fingers? Hands? We're not going to be able to take the answer. Um, it is actually fingerprints. All right. Question number seven. According to the Bible, what did God create on the fifth day? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. The oceans? That is incorrect. Patrick Henry, you've got a shot. Animals, except humans. Yeah. Very good. All right. Question number eight. What is the smallest unit in a computer's memory? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. A byte. Could you repeat the answer? A byte. That is incorrect. Patrick Henry? Oh, a bit. A bit is the answer there. All right. Two questions remain in the semifinal game. In The Lion King, what was the name of Simba's father? Yes, Delphus Jefferson. Mufasa. Mufasa is correct. And your final question in this game. What is the chemical symbol for lead? Yes, Patrick Henry. PB. PB is correct. All right. That was a tough round, and we've come to the end of our game now between Delphus Jefferson and Patrick Henry. Here is our score. Delphus Jefferson, 65 points. Patrick Henry, the winner, moving on to our championship game with 100 points. Congratulations. Delphus Jefferson, thank you so much for being with us again this year. You had a great showing. All right, we'll be back with our next game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back everyone. This we know for sure, Patrick Henry High School will be moving on to our championship game. They just completed their game between um, with Delphus Jefferson. And now we are going into our second semifinal game. This between Ada High School and Pandora Gilboa. We want to introduce you to our players. Joining us now from Ada, we have Austin Ambergy, Alex Hertig, Terry Sheridan, and Eric Kadiyama. And Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome back, gentlemen. All right, moving now to Pandora Gilboa. Playing for Pandora Gilboa is Carrie Burkhart, Nick Norton, Brooke Meyer, and Jacob Suter. Pandora Gilboa is coached by Joyce Suter and Leo Recker. Welcome back to all of you. All right, first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Let's please speak up as loudly as possible, make those answers as complete as possible, and we'll be good to go, all right? Here we go, question number one. To whom is the invention of the modern submarine credited? All right, time is up, teams. The answer is John Holland. All right, moving on to question number two. Strawberry Fields, a section of Central Park, is dedicated to what singer? Ada. Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa? Yes. Prince. Prince, Prince is also incorrect. A lot of people are crying out there and right now that she didn't get this answer right. It's John Lennon. All right, question number three. How long was William Harrison in office as the ninth president of the United States? Yes, Ada? One month. One month is correct. 
Question number four. What is known as the master gland of the human body? Yes, Pandora Gilboa. The hypothalamus. That is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. Pituitary? The pituitary Four. is correct. All right, question five. What is Frosty the snowman's nose made of? Yes, Pandora Gilboa. Coal? Coal is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. A carrot. A carrot is also incorrect. Oh. The answer is a button. Oh. All right, question number six in your semifinal game. <laughs> Name the state where we would find Rice University and Baylor University. Yes, Ada? California. California, incorrect. Pandora? Yes. Connecticut? Also incorrect. Texas is the state. Oh, really? All righty, we're stumping them. Question number seven. What Florida city shares its name with Florida's largest lake that is just south of it? Yes, Ada. Okeechobee. Okeechobee is the answer. All right, question number eight of this first round. What branch of physics is devoted to the study of heat and related? Yes, that would be Ada. Thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is correct. Two questions remaining in round one. What I word means a rise in the costs of goods and prices? Yes, Ada? Inflation. Inflation is the answer there. And question number 10. What is the longest river in South America? Ada? The Amazon. Amazon is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of our first round now between Ada and Pandora Gilboa, here is our score. Ada with 60 points, Pandora Gilboa, you have yet to get on the board. We are going to turn now to Ada for your five questions, five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. What bone connects the scapula and lower arm? Yes. Humorous. Humorous is the answer. In the comic strip, what canine is Garfield's friend? Yes, Ada? Odie. Odie is the answer. <laughs> Question three. The USS Monitor was one of the first of what type of ships? Yes, Ada? Armorclads. Could you repeat the answer? Armorclads. We will accept your answer. All right, moving on to number four. According to the Bible, on what body of water did Jesus walk? Yes, Ada? Galilee. That is incorrect. It is the Sea of Galilee. All right, question five. In what U.S. city did the first subway open in 1897? Yes. Boston. Boston is correct. All right, everybody ready over here, Pandora Gilboa. We gotta get you on the board here. We have five questions with five points apiece. They're all yours, but buzz in, please. What is hemophobia a fear of? Yes. Blood. Blood is correct. What is Australia's largest marsupial? Yes. Kangaroo. Kangaroo is correct. Name the great American poet who has won four Pulitzer Prizes. Pandora? Edgar Allan Poe. That is incorrect, it's Robert Frost. All right, two questions remaining in your round. What is the first element on the periodic table? Yes. Hydrogen. Hydrogen, correct. Your final question. The lead in pencils is actually clay. Graphite. Graphite is the answer. Very good. All right, we've come to the end of our second round now. Our score, Ada with 80 points, Pandora Gilboa with 20. We'll be back with the final round right after the break. Don't go away.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, it is a semifinal game now between Ada and Pandora Gilboa, and here is our score. Pandora Gilboa with 20 points, Ada with 80. We are entering our final round. Ten questions for 10 points apiece. Both teams ready? All right, question one. The name of which Central American country means land of trees? Time is up. The answer is Guatemala. All right, question two. What is the square root of 81? Yes, Pandora. Nine. Nine is correct. Who was the second president of the United States? Yes, Ada. John Adams. John Adams is the answer there. Question number four. In which Ohio city were traffic lights introduced in 1914? Yes, Pandora. Columbus. Columbus is incorrect. Ada, you want to try? Yes. Cleveland. Cleveland is the answer. Yes. All right, number five. What product replaced sugar as Brazil's top export in the 1800s? Ada? Tobacco. Tobacco is incorrect. Pandora Gilboa? Yes. Coffee? Coffee is the correct answer. All right, question number six. Name the smallest state in the United States. Pandora. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is correct. Moving on to number seven now. What is the second most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere? Yes, Ada. Oxygen. Oxygen is correct. How many innings are played in Olympic softball games? Yes, Ada? Seven. Seven is the right answer. All right, two questions remaining in this game. What centuries old publication makes weather predictions? Yes, Ada? The Farmer's Almanac. We will accept that. Very good. All right, final question in this semifinal between Ada and Pandora Gilboa. What PBS show attracts over 7,000 items for appraisal each taping? Pandora. And Antiques Roadshow. Antiques Roadshow is correct. All right, we have come to the end of our semifinal game now between Ada and Pandora Gilboa. Here is our final score. Pandora Gilboa, 60 points. Ada, you will be moving on to our championship and you have 130 points. Congratulations. We want to thank both teams for playing. We'll see you back here next week for the championship. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.